Okay. So we'll go back to the city master plan yes. um, in a bit, but I wanted to talk about, as you mentioned it, the uh, Thudok city master plan. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> so it's also <laughs> being referred to as the Ho Chi Minh City Innovation District. That's right. So it's about um, 200, 211 square kilometers or 21,000 hectares. Uh, very exciting. So if you can please tell us more about why it's being called an innovation district. Yes. I, I think that uh, one of the main uh, challenges for Ho Chi Minh City is how to um, improve its competitiveness, mm -hmm. right? When, it, when they compare Ho Chi Minh City with other major cities in the region, like Manila, Jakarta, Bangkok, uh, we actually still not there that yet in terms of economic powerhouse um, and also as a regional hub, right? Uh, because we, I think we, we start later compared to other cities. Mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, Vietnam have a, quite a, a, a huge potential to grow the economy uh, given uh, the digital economy, right? the internet economy, because of young population and also very technology savvy, right? Actually, Vietnam is a top 10 um, electronics uh, exporter in the world, right? And, um, and also now it's a lot of startup is one of the, I think the, one of the third largest, the third largest uh, ecosystem uh, for startup in Southeast Asia, right? I didn't know so that. we have we have quite a lot of potential. So the the previous um, the party chief, so the Communist Party of Ho Chi Minh City, Mr. Dr. Nguyen Thien Nhien, he really imagined that he want to capture this opportunity of Industry 4.0, right? Mm -hmm. And a, a young and talented IT sector uh, uh, workforce to transform. Ho Chi Minh City in, into a smart city, innovative city. But of course, doing it at the scale Ho Chi Minh City is not that easy. So they want to start it with a, a smaller part of Ho Chi Minh City, which is Thu Duc City. Mm -hmm. So he, he merged three different districts, District 2, District 9, and District and Thu Duc District together to form a new city with 1.1 million people and uh, occupy a land of 21,000 hectares. And the reason is, first, it's a really already a, a hub for a lot of tech firms, right? Ho Chi Minh City High Tech Park is there with Intel and Samsung and a lot of other local tech firms already there producing 17 billion US dollars of product every year. The National University of Ho Chi Minh City is also there with, I, mean, I think, 100,000 students already there, right? And so many other the cluster with IT firm, design firm, creative firms, and also have a lot of uh, good infrastructure and it sit in the location that you can say really the heart of the entire Southeast region of Vietnam and sit between the CBD of Ho Chi Minh City today, District 1 and the future Long Tang International Airport. So mm -hmm. such a strategic location with all existing ecosystem for innovation. And that's why he set a vision that it become a new city, so it have more autonomous uh, situation uh, status in decision making, and uh, turn that into an innovation district. Actually, the full name was highly interactive and innovative uh, district of Ho Chi Minh City. So that's the story behind it. 